Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Irma with Overcoming with Pastor Irma on this Tuesday morning. God bless you all. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a blessed day. Amen. I'm able to breathe God's good air on today. And for that, I am most grateful. Amen. Come on in on this Tuesday morning so we can continue with our series, um, Back to the Basics. Lord, have mercy. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord, uh, Joshua. Glad to have you on this morning. God bless you, uh, Daisha. Amen. I think that's how you pronounce it, Brown. Amen. Glad to have you on on this morning. Ah, uh, what a mighty and wonderful God that we serve. Uh, uh, all praises He deserves. Lord have mercy. Uh, we sing a song. Uh, it's usually used for the doxology, but I'm com convinced we could use it at any time. Lord have mercy. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Lord have mercy. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, Lord, have mercy. I'm getting happy already. And Holy Ghost, Lord, have mercy. Oh, my Savior. And then we'll end it with an amen. Lord, have mercy. We just need to praise him, uh, for he's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the very same, the Lord's name. Y'all not going to help me this morning. I said the Lord's name. I ain't say Donald Trump. I didn't say the uh, 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 Supreme Court. I didn't say Congress. I didn't say the doctor. I didn't say the banker. Uh, I didn't say your spouse. But I said the Lord's Help me, Jesus. The Lord's name is to be praised. Lord, have mercy. Somebody need to open up their mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. I praise you. I glorify you. I lift you. I exalt you. Lord, have mercy. There is no God like our God. Lord, have mercy. And he's worthy to be praised. I believe there's a song that said he's high and he's lifted up and he's worthy to be praised. Lord, have mercy. I feel a praise down in my spirit. Lord, have mercy. I didn't sit down to do all of that. Lord, have mercy. But I felt the praise rising up in my spirit. Lord, have mercy. He just don't have to do something spectacular for me to praise him. Lord, have mercy. If I open up my eyes. That's worth a praise. Lord, have mercy. If I breathe his oxygen, I, that's worth a praise. Help me, Holy Ghost. If I can move my limbs, that's worth a praise. Lord, I, if I'm in my sound mind, Lord, I'm, that's worth a praise. Help me, Holy Ghost. We bless him on today. Thank God for all of you who are coming in on this morning. Amen, amen, amen. Man, God bless you, uh, Lady Sharice. Amen. God bless you. Oh, Lady Nash is on. God bless you on this morning. Glad to have you on. Amen. This morning, I miss you. Need to have a little conversation again. Amen. Uh, uh, Lady Nash, God bless you. God bless you, Vanika. God uh, 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 bless you on this morning. Lord have mercy. Before I get started uh, uh, um, with our Back to the Basics, I just want to exhort the saints on this morning. We know that this is the week going into uh, what they call Halloween. Y'all not going to help me. Lord have mercy. And I just want to exhort the saints. I want to encourage the saints 
to be mindful, to be watchful, to be prayerful. Lord have mercy, during this time, Lord have mercy, whether you believe it or not, uh, there are forces that are working in the land. Y'all not going to help me. There are witches and warlocks. There are spell casters. There are uh, voodoo workers. There are uh, 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 many things that are going contrary to the word of God that during this season, during this time, they are working. Lord have mercy. Make sure you stay under the blood. Y'all not going to help me. Make sure you're covered by the blood. Lord have mercy that the blood of Jesus is a, a, a surrounding you. That is protecting you. Lord have mercy. Be watchful and be prayerful. They are everybody who is being uh, 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 kidnapped. Um, being snatched off the street. Lord have mercy. It's not being sex trafficked. <laughs> Help me Jesus. But there are those. Lord have mercy. Who are looking for sacrifices. There are those. Who are looking. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, to perform seances. And, and all kinds of uh, uh, evil doings. Saints, we are not ignorant of the devil's devices. Y'all not going to help me this morning. Ain't nobody giving me no hearts and likes. But I'm going to tell you the truth today because I'm trying to save your life. Lord, have mercy. Be watchful and be prayerful. This is uh, the height of demonic activity. Help me, Jesus. So we got to be able to watch. Lord, have mercy. Be uh, so uh, aware of your surroundings. Know what's going. Get off the phone, y'all. Lord, have mercy, and be watchful with what's going on around you. Lord, have mercy. Don't you know they are looking for people who are distracted? They are looking for people, Lord, who is not paying attention. Lord, have mercy and before you know it, you are in somebody's trunk. You are in somebody's van. You driving down the street. You don't even know what happened to you. Lord, have mercy. I'm trying to tell us in this season to be watchful and be prayerful. Don't be distracted while you're out here on the street. Don't be distracted when you're pumping gas. Don't be distracted at the stoplight. Lord, have mercy. Be watchful and be prayerful. The devil know that his time is up. Lord have mercy. The devil know, Lord have mercy, only a few days I left. Lord have mercy. And he is going for broke, y'all. Lord have mercy. And if we are not sober, if we are not vigilant, we will be caught in his trap. So, so, saints of God, I'm urging us, I'm warning us, I'm pleading with us, be sober, be watchful, be alert with your surroundings. Lord have mercy. Get off the dog on phone. Woo, God. If it's that important, go back on the inside and do whatever you need. Be surrounded by people. To do whatever you need. Lord have mercy. Don't be alone. Don't be uh, 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 Alan by yourself. You are a prime target. Be watchful saints. I'm trying. I don't know why the Lord wanted me to say that today. But I felt the urge. I felt the prompting. To tell us to be watchful. Men and women, Lord have mercy, be watchful, Lord have mercy, the devil is not a respecter of persons either, Lord have mercy, man or woman, he 
is out to get you. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. We are in our series, uh, 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 Back to the Basics. Lord have mercy. We've talked about the assurance of salvation. We done talked about what salvation is. You made a decision to be saved. Lord have mercy. We talked about the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? He is part of the Trinity. Lord have mercy. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Well, we talked about what he does. He's a comforter. He's an aide. He's a leader. He's a guide. Lord have mercy. God bless all of you all who are still coming on on this morning. Amen. Uh, uh, we, uh, we need this Holy Spirit. If we're going to live in this present world, you need the Holy Spirit to get through this place called earth. Lord have mercy. We're trying to get to glory. Lord have mercy. The old saint said, we just passing through. Lord, I, but you need the Holy Ghost to pass through. If not, you're going to get stuck. Lord have mercy. And in hell, you will lift up your eyes. You cannot live this life with willpower. You need the Spirit of God. Lord, I'm dwelling on the inside to lead and to guide you. Lord, have mercy. I am a witness. Lord, have mercy. I met a Karen. Lord, have mercy on Saturday. Lord, have mercy. Y'all know these Karens, these people who are privileged, who think they can just come up to you and just say anything. Lord, have mercy. Well, I met one of them people. Lord, have mercy. And it was the Holy Ghost in me. Lord, have mercy. Who kept my composure. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yeah, because I felt flesh rising up. Oh, but the Holy Ghost said you can't do it. You got to display the workings of Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. Hey, God. And that is what I did. Lord, and when she saw, I was not going to be flustered. I was not going to move. I was not going to argue with her. Lord, how much she went on by her way. And then other people came to me and started apologizing for her. Lord, have mercy. I didn't need the apologies. Karen is just everywhere. Everywhere. Lord have mercy. When you stand up for right, Lord have mercy, be uh, 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 ready to be attacked. Be ready, Lord have mercy, for the devil to come. Lord have mercy. God has already given you the tools to be victorious. Lord have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. That's, you can stand your ground, but you can stand holy on the ground. Yeah. I feel Jesus. Lord have mercy. You can stand holy right there standing your ground. Don't let folk take you out of character. Don't let the devil move you from your place in God. Lord have mercy. Help me, Jesus. And that's what we're talking about on today. Victory over sin. <laughs> Oh, God, I love you, Jesus. That is our topic for today. Lord, have mercy. Victory over sin. Lord, have mercy. Sin is an inward spiritual attitude of rebellion towards God. Let me read that one more time. Sin is an inward spiritual attitude of rebellion towards Towards God. Lord have mercy. Which is expressed. Lord have mercy. In outward acts of disobedience. Can I say that sentence. One more time. Because some of us don't even know what sin is. We just say sin is missing the mark. Lord have mercy. Why are you missing the mark? Because you got an attitude. A rebellion. Toward what God has established. Help me, Jesus. Here came my answer. Sin is an inward spiritual attitude. Lord, have mercy. Of rebellion towards God. Help me, Jesus. Which is expressed in outward acts of disobedience. Lord, have mercy. You wonder why you going rogue? Check your spiritual attitude. 
Lord have mercy. You wonder why, Lord have mercy, you keep falling, you keep uh, 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 running towards sin, you keep running towards the world, you keep siding with the world. Check your inward spiritual attitude. Lord have mercy. It is in rebellion against the word of God. God, that's why you're drawn away in your own lust, because you got a rebellious spirit. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. Your inward attitude. Lord, have mercy against the things of God is causing your disobedience to God's word. Help me, Holy Ghost. That's why when Moses went up to get the Ten Commandments on the mount, Lord, have mercy, the people, oh my God, went a whole different direction. Lord, have mercy. They needed a God that they could see. They needed a God that they could dance to. Y'all not going to help me up because they had an inward spiritual attitude of rebellion. Help me, Holy Ghost. They couldn't wait patiently to hear what God had to say. They couldn't wait patiently to hear from the master and the king. No, they had to get their flesh fed. They had to get their inward attitude. Lord, have mercy. Uh, 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 had to get their fix. Lord, have mercy for their flesh. Help me, Jesus. I know it ain't going to be many people on the day because we comfortable in our rebellious attitude. We're comfortable in our disobedience. We're comfortable because there are a whole lot of other folk who are in the same boat that we are. And we, instead of checking our spiritual attitude, Lord, have mercy, we want to be just like everybody else. Lord, have mercy. We want to be comfortable in our sin like everybody else. Help me, Holy Ghost. Through sinning, we rob God of the glory due to him. Lord, have mercy. We give God glory when we obey his word. We give God glory when we recognize him as the Lord of lords and the King of kings. Help me, Holy Ghost. And when we sin, we rob him of his glory. We giving it, we're handing power over to his enemy. Help me, Jesus, the Satan himself, the devil, the one who's seeking to and fro. Lord, have mercy, uh, seeking who he may devour. Help me, Jesus. And then and also, we rob God of his glory when we are disobedient. But Christ, but Christ, but Christ came to save us from our sins and to give us victory over our sin. Help me, Jesus. That there is a Savior. There is a way out. There is a resolution. Hey, there is a solution. And his name is Jesus the Christ who came to redeem man from sin. Lord, have mercy eh, to save us from the depths of hell. Y'all not going to help me to bring us back in right standing with the Father. Help me, Jesus. Oh, my Savior, there is a man named Jesus who has come to save us. Remember, we talked about the three P's of sin, what Jesus came to do. He came to save us from uh, uh, the penalty of sin, for the wages of sin is death. Lord, have mercy, came us to give us the gift of God, uh, which is eternal life. Y'all not going to help me? Hey, he came to save us from the power of sin. Lord, how sin shouldn't have dominion over us anymore. Lord, have mercy. I'm talking about what Christ came to do now. Lord, have mercy. We don't have to stay in a rebellious attitude. 
Christ came to save us from our own selves. Help me, Holy Ghost, to give us a new attitude. He came thirdly for the third P, to save us from the presence of sin. Lord, I'm, when the trump shall sound, Lord, have mercy, when we're caught up to meet him in the midair, we go forever be with the Lord, and there is no sin where he is. I feel like dancing. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit is our helper in this area. But we have a responsibility. Y'all, we got a responsibility, Lord Hammer, to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Lord, have mercy. The Holy Spirit is a helper. He'll help us to renew our mind. That uh, a spiritual attitude of rebellion that we got, Lord have mercy, we can be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Y'all know Romans 12, Lord have mercy, and 10, Lord, and be ye transformed by the renewing of our mind. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, have mercy. But that's our responsibility. Ain't no lightning bolt is going to come down. Lord, have mercy and, and hit us in the head. And now we no longer have a spirit of rebellion. And in any shama, we no longer are disobedient. Lord, ain't that it don't happen that way. This is our responsibility. Lord, have mercy to read our word, to conform to what God is telling us to do. Lord, have mercy. Uh, if any man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature. Old things are passed away. That means that old mindset, who that old rebellious spirit need to be passed away away. And behold, all things are become new. Lord, have mercy. It's a process, y'all. Lord, have mercy. It's a process. As you renew your mind, that spirit of rebellion begins to shrink. Y'all not go help me up in here. Yeah, okay, but why? Because your mind is being transformed to his mind. Lord, have mercy. Lord, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. But you got to transform your mind. Lord, have mercy so you can be like Christ Jesus. This is how we go have the victory over sin. You got to change your mindset. Lord, have mercy. You got to know that sin, Lord, have mercy, will not enter into the kingdom of God. So until you get that mindset, I want to be righteous. I want to be holy. I want to be like Jesus. Look so meek and lowly. Lord, have mercy. See, until we change our mind, we going to always have that spirit of rebellion. Always being drawn away from our own lust. Woo! Help me, Holy Ghost. Our bodies are servants to our mental faculties. Lord have mercy. I hope we're getting this today. It's all in our minds. It's all in our attitude. It's all in our perception. You got to change your mindset so you can have the victory over sin. Lord have mercy. Sin will become repulsive to you. Sin will become, Lord have mercy, nasty to you. Sin will come. Uh, Y'all not going help me today. Thus we need the word of God which washes and cleanses our minds. Lord have mercy the Bible tells us to be washed. Lord have mercy. We are clean through the word. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you Jesus. Uh, you can look up John 15 and 3 and Ephesians 5 and 26 for that. Furthermore our actions and words are fruits of of our thoughts. What you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Lord have mercy. What are you 
thinking? What is your attitude? Lord have mercy. About what, what is displaying your, what is your character displaying? Lord have mercy. What's in your mindset? Lord, am are we reading God's word to be transformed or are we reading God's word just to be informed? Can I stand up? Lord, have mercy. I need to stand up on that. Lord, have mercy. Are we reading God's word to be transformed or are we reading God's word to be informed. There's a difference. And we see the difference. There are people who can quote scripture left and right, but can't live a nickel's worth of dog meat, as my grandma would say. Thank you, Jesus. Because we got a spirit of rebellion in us. Lord have mercy. We want to read. We want to be knowledgeable. But we don't want the word to be living organism in us. Don't you know the word of God is life. It's living. Lord have mercy. And it ought to be living in us. It ought to be transforming us. It ought to be renewing us. Lord have mercy. Our actions and words are the fruit of our thoughts. Change your thought pattern. I'm talking about how we can have victory over sin. Lord have mercy. It's not your willpower. It is the transformation transformation of the word of God in our lives, in our minds, in our spirits, in our hearts. Let the word transform. Lord have mercy. The mind is the ground for Satan. <laughs> yes, it is. So we really need to have the sword of the spirit to attack him and keep him off our backs. The, we, we know Ephesians uh, uh, 6, Lord have mercy, uh, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Lord have mercy, it's the word. You want to know what your sword, what to do with your sword? Lord have mercy, get your mind right with it. Get your mind right with your sword. Lord, have mercy. Let the word of God transform how, transform how you think, how you respond, how you react. Lord, have mercy. So when you meet your Karen, you won't be in jail. When you meet your Karen, Lord, have mercy, you won't act unseemly. When you meet your Karen, y'all not going to help me today. You won't go off your rocker. You won't stoop to her level or Ken's level because there's some Ken's out here too. Y'all not going to help me up in here. Lord have mercy. Learn how to use your sword so your mind can be uh, uh, transformed. Lord, have, I'm talking about how we can have victory over sin. Thank you, Jesus. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, Satan offers much pleasure and sensuality. Oh, yes, he does. But never shows the end consequences to the one who partakes of his offers. Lord, have mercy. Satan, see, Satan is pretty uh, shrewd at this game. Lord, have mercy. And if your mind it has not been transformed, you will fall for the okie doke. Lord, have mercy. He knows how to please our flesh. He knows how to whisper in our ear. He knows how to nibble on our neck. Lord, have mercy. He knows what's pleasurable to us. Lord, have mercy. It don't always have to be sexual. Lord, have mercy. But he can stroke, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Start stroking our ego. Lord, have mercy. He knows how to, Lord, help me, Holy 
ghost, he knows how to uh, please our flesh desires, how to make it rain. Lord, have mercy. Lord, he knows how to uh, uh, bring our bank account into a place where, Lord, have mercy. We forget all about God and we think we are now a little God. He knows how to stroke us. Help me, Jesus. He knows how to push our uh, uh, lustful buttons. Help me, Jesus. And he, he shows us the good stuff, but he don't show the consequences of what we do. Lord, Lord, can I use this? Lord, have mercy as an example. Lord, have mercy. We know that... Uh, Pork is bad for us. Help me, Holy Ghost. It will, uh, uh, your blood pressure will go up. Lord, and if you're already sick, and if you already have high blood pressure, Satan knows how to make that bacon so nice and crisp just the way you like it. Lord, have mercy. And he'll put a whole pan full in front of you. Lord, y'all not go help me. And he lets you start to eat. Eat of that bacon, Lord Hammer, and you know you can't eat just one, Lord Hammer. You just feel in your heart's content, Lord have mercy, and you say, Oh, how good this is. But he don't show you when that blood pressure rise and you got you having a stroke. Yeah. He's not going to show you in the hospital with one side of your body paralyzed, unable to be used. He's not going to show you that part. He's just going to show you how good that bacon is. How good y'all, y'all not going to help me today. Well, y'all don't, y'all don't like that one. Okay. Okay. Let's go to another one. Lord have mercy. He shows you how fine she is. 36, 26, 36. Lord, have mercy walking down the street. He shows you him with all them biceps and triceps. Lord, have mercy. He shows you. Lord, have mercy. Uh, his muscular. Y'all not going to help me up in here. Hey, my Savior and my God. He shows you all the good that he, he shows you how he can rock it. Lord, how she can make it move. Y'all not now go help me up in here. But he don't show you the end result. Y'all now go help me. He don't show you the STD. He don't show you HIV. He don't show you like, the sores around your mouth. He's not going to show you the gonorrhea. He's not going to show you the pregnancy. He's not going to show you the abortion. He's not going to show you. All you see is how fine they are and how it shakes when they move. Y'all not going to help you. Okay. Y'all, y'all too deep for me today. And you wonder why you don't have victory over sin. Lord, you wonder why you don't have victory over your flesh. Because you ain't real, first of all. Lord, have mercy. You don't recognize that your flesh has desires. Your flesh is long, weak, look. Man, man born of a woman was born into sin. Y'all not go help me up in here. That's why we needed a savior. Because your flesh is full of sin. That's why we got to be born again. Because your flesh is full of sin. I hope y'all hearing me today. And if you don't renew that flesh, if you don't get that flesh under control, the devil will uh, appease your flesh and you'll start whoring after idols. You'll start whoring after other gods. You'll start whoring after fame and fortune. Y'all know. Okay. Your ego will take you places where, Lord have mercy, where you can't stand. Where your character won't allow you to be. Uh, help me. Holy Ghost. Uh, let me finish this lesson. Know that we shall reap what we sow. Lord have mercy. If you reap 
Lord, have mercy to the flesh. Of the flesh you shall sow. Lord, have mercy. But if you reap in the spirit, of the spirit you shall, if you sow in the spirit, I'm sorry, you shall reap of the spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. To have constant victory, know that we have the mind of Christ by faith. Lord, Amber, that's 1 Corinthians 2, 14 through 16. This is the sharpest mind there ever was. Lord, because Christ knew how to talk. Christ knew how to come back. Lord, have mercy on the enemy. Lord, have mercy. We always want to come back. Get the mind of Christ. He'll tell you how to come back. Now, we don't have to come back in the flesh, but we come back with the spirit. Y'all not going to help me in here. Through diligent study and application of God's word, his mind will be made real to us and manifest in us. Lord, this is how we're going to have victory, y'all, over sin. That through study and application of the word of God, we can have victory over sin. We will uh, 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 transform our mind to the mind of Christ. Remember, temptation is not sin. <laughs> Jesus was tempted. Lord, have mercy, but he didn't sin. Lord, have mercy. Yielding to the temptation is the sin. Lord, have mercy. Je the, the devil is going to come with all kinds of thoughts. He's going to give you all kinds. Lord, have mercy. It's, your mind is like a super highway. Y'all not going to help me. Help me, Jesus. Uh, it, all kinds of thoughts are running in and out. Lord, have mercy. But you don't have to let them thoughts park. Help me, Jesus. They don't have to stay in your mind. Help me, Holy Ghost. I believe the Bible said, cast down every imagination that exalted this. Y'all now go help me. We can cast down these thoughts. We can uh, uh, eliminate these thoughts. Cast them out. Lord, have mercy. Don't let them park in your mind. Don't let them rest in your mind. Jesus came back when he the devil teach um, when he, the devil tempted him Lord have mercy with the word of God he kept saying it is written Lord that's why we need the Holy Ghost so he could bring the word back to our remembrance Lord have mercy it is written Lord have mercy it is written uh, man shall not live by bread alone. It is written. Lord have mercy. Y'all not going to help me today. That's why you got to study and show yourself approved. So you know how to defe defeat sin. So you know how to defeat the enemy with the word of God. When he comes to tell you you sick and this is a sickness unto death, you can say it is written. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost, by his stripes. I'm already healed. Y'all not go help me up in here. You got to have a renewed mind. Lord, I'm, your mind ain't renewed. You'll follow, you'll fall for the okie doke. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, I'm sick. And the doctor said, I only have six months. You gonna fall for the okie doke. Lord, have mercy. But I'm already healed with healing in his wings. Let the sun of righteousness arise with healing in his rise in me with healing. Help me. You got to know how to use God's word. Help me, Holy Ghost. The word of God is true and is full of God's own power and authority. This is how we going to defeat the uh, sin in our lives. Using the word of God. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, work it to your advantage. Y'all not gonna help me. There's power in the word. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, when we speak the word, don't you know? 
We can command a thing, Lord, have mercy with our tongue. Uh, in our tongue is life and death. Y'all not going to help me. We can speak things so. So we can have victory over sin. Lord, when we are tempted to do what is displeasing to God, we can use our mouth to defeat it. Y'all not going to help me. Lord, have mercy. I am the righteousness of God. And I will not bow to your trickery, devil. You got to learn how to use the word of God. You got to learn how to talk back to the devil. Stop shaking your head and say, yes, devil, I will do. No, you talk back to him using the word of God. Lord, have mercy, not by power. Not by might, but by his spirit, I'm strong in him. Lord, have mercy. I resist the devil. Lord, have mercy. So you need to flee. Lord, have mercy. Learn how to use the word of God to your advantage. Know that you are an overcomer through the word of God. Use God's word to your advantage. But first of all, you got to get rid of your rebellious spirit. Lord, have mercy. You can't have dominion over sin and you rebellious. No, that that ain't that that that, that don't work. Lord, have mercy. You rebellious against God and you want to use his word to work for you. That don't work, y'all. Lord, have mercy. But if you strive to live holy, don't mean you're going to do everything right. Let me tell you how it was explained to me. Lord, have mercy. We are no longer sinners, y'all. Lord, I'm, when we come to Christ, we are no longer sinners. Don't mean we don't sin, but we don't uh, uh, sin is not our way of life. It's like a farmer. Lord, have mercy, and a gardener. Lord, have mercy, a farmer plants and, and, and produces crop as a way of life. Lord, have mercy, but the gardener, Lord, it's a, a, a little hobby for him. That's not his way of life. He may plant every now and then, Lord, have mercy, but it's not his way of living. Sin should not be our way of living, y'all. Lord, have mercy. We should not be farmers of sin. Help me, Jesus. But you can have victory over sin in your life. Lord, have mercy. You are no longer. Stop saying I'm a sinner saved by grace. No, when you come to Christ, you are no longer a sinner. You may sin, but you're no longer a sinner. You are now a son or daughter of God. Lord, have, stop saying I'm a sinner saved by grace. No, I am no longer a sinner. Lord, have mercy. God has washed me and cleansed me. And now I'm a son of God. Change your, change your mindset. Lord, guess if you keep saying I'm a sinner, guess what you're going to do? You're going to keep sinning. That's it, Joshua. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm no longer a sinner. I have been changed, y'all. Change your mindset. I'm a saint of God. I'm a walk like a saint. I'm a talk like a saint. I'm a love like a saint. Thank you, Jesus. I'm no longer a sin. This is how you got to change your mind so you can have victory over sin. That is the word of God for today. I'm going to end it right here. Lord, have mercy. Uh, there's so much more I can say. Lord, have mercy. But I got to go to work. And you do too. Lord, have mercy. But we can have victory over sin. Sin does not have to have dominion over us. We don't have to be like Geraldine. Lord have mercy, the devil made me do it. The devil don't make you do nothing. You do it because you want to do it. Lord have mercy, get some spiritual backbone about you. Get some spiritual strength about you. And stop being led 
Lord, have mercy into sin. Stop being uh, 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 deceived. Lord, have mercy by the enemy. You take authority over sin. Let sin know you don't rule me. I rule you. I have authority over you. When Jesus rose, he rose with all power and authority in his hand. And if you are in you, if he is in you, Lord have mercy, and you are in him, Lord have mercy. You got the same power and authority that Jesus Christ has. Stop letting the devil fool us. Stop letting your flesh control you. You control. Put your flesh under subjection. Help me, Holy Ghost. Get something about you. Lord, get some strength about you. Get some, some power and some might about you. Stop being a little whiny weakling. You are not weakling. Lord, have mercy. Woo! Our weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty. Woo! Through the pulling down of strongholds. You got to watch what you say out of your mouth. This is how you going to have victory over sin. Thank you, Jesus. Watch what you say, saints. Watch what come out of your mouth. Lord, you are no longer a sinner. You are now a son or a daughter of God. When you change how you look at yourself, it'll change how you carry yourself. It'll change how you walk. It'll change how you talk. This is the word of the Lord for today. Lord have mercy, victory over sin. Our next one, we're going to talk about the Bible. We're going to talk about the Bible. Lord, have mercy. God's holy word. Amen and amen. God bless you for being with Pastor Irma on today with Overcoming with Pastor. I hope this word has blessed you on today. I hope this word has make you think, will make you think about who you are today and let you know that sin does not have dominion over you. You have dominion over it. You can have victory over sin in your own life. Don't worry about anybody else's life. You make sure you have dominion in your own life. Lord have mercy. So that you Lord, I will be victorious in this earth. God bless you. Again, thank you for all of who have uh, uh, sown into my life. Uh, I just want to see us all make heaven. I want us to all to be victorious in this earth realm. I want us to see, I want to see us all make it from earth to glory. Lord, have mercy. But we got to get back to the basics so that we will be good examples for those who are still seeking, those who are still searching, to let them know Jesus is the way. Don't let this political environment uh, take you out of character. Don't let this political environment disturb your spirit. These things must be, but we don't have to be like them. (laughs) We are different in this world. We are kingdom citizens. Lord, let the politicians politic. You be about kingdom, Lord, have mercy. Be about the kingdom agenda in this earth realm. Be careful and be vigilant in this uh, Halloween season. Lord, have mercy. Uh, Be watchful and be prayerful. Lord, have mercy. I love you all to life. God bless you, everyone.